Paris. Quand un amour flirte, ça fait pendant des semaines de cœur qui se sourit. Hello and welcome to beautiful Paris. Uh, I want to apologize in advance uh, because I will not pronounce any of these words for any of these tourist attractions or anything in Paris like a Parisian or like a French person because I'm American and I did not take the time to learn how to say the words the right way. But what you see back there is the beautiful, iconic, world famous Eiffel Tower. And I didn't even need to say that because everyone knows what that is. Of course, I could be in China with the replica, replica that they built in a Chinese city uh, recently. But anyway, that's the real deal. I'm here in Paris. It's a chilly, very chilly uh, mid-February evening, uh, but it doesn't make it any less fun. I've had a great time here. It's only been a couple days. This is part of my Europe in two weeks tour. I'm flying out to London early in the morning. And in fact, I'll probably head to the airport tonight after I finish this video. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about uh, Paris and France. First of all, uh, Paris is a big, big city. It's been big for uh, two or three hundred years. It's been a big city. And uh, there's over 12 million people uh, that live here. It makes up 18% of the French population. Uh, since the 17th century, uh, Paris has been one of Europe's major uh, financial centers, commercial centers, fashion science and art centers. Uh, you know, it's it's just a, a very famous place, not just in Europe, but all around the world. And uh, there's a lot of reasons to come here. And, uh, you know, people do business here. People visit here. Uh, taxes are pretty hefty uh, for French people. They, they get taxed quite a bit. I have friends uh, that are from France, and they tell me all about the crazy taxes that they're that they get hit with by the government. But anyway, that's not important uh, for this video and uh, for the sake of being a tourist and visiting uh, Paris. Um, the Charles de Gaulle Airport is the second busiest airport after London Heathrow Airport. Okay, London is uh, probably the most visited uh, tourist destination in Europe and one of the most visited tourist destinations in the world, and that's where I'm going next. But Paris is up there on the list, you know, and the Charles de Gaulle Airport gets a lot of traffic. Uh, the, Par uh, the Paris Metro, you know, the train, the metro train system, uh, is the second busiest after Moscow's metro system. It's a, uh, it's, it's an arcane, uh, very old arcane uh, type of uh, metro system, but it works, you know, and it's not too hard to figure out. It's kind of hard to navigate through the metro systems, and the customer service isn't the best, but it's not impossible. And once you do it a couple times, you kind of get familiar with where everything's at, you know, in the routes and everything. It reminds me of the New York City Metro, but uh, the New York City Metro is not as confusing as the Paris Metro, but it's not too bad. Uh, anyway, uh, the Louvre uh, in 2016 was the most visited art museum in the world. Uh, it's always been up there as one of the most visited art museums in the world because uh, it is uh, the largest art museum in the world. And, and one of the reasons why it's one of the most visited or the most visited art museum in the world uh, year after year is because of the Mona Lisa, uh, among other famous artworks are there uh, at uh, the Louvre, okay? So uh, the Louvre is closed on Tuesdays, by the way. So if you're watching this video and you happen to be in Paris on Tuesday, don't plan to go to the Louvre. It's closed on Tuesdays. Uh, regular business hours are from uh, 8 to 6 every day, okay? I think, or at least during the week, it's 8 to 6, 8 in the morning to 6 in the evening. Um, one of the best ways to catch uh, the best of the best, if you're not here for a long time like me, I'm only here for two days, because I have a lot of uh, ground to cover in Europe. So one of the best ways to see any city, any major global city, is to get on one of the big bus hop-on tour buses. Uh, you know, it is cold, but if you bundle up and you, uh, you get on the very top where there is no uh, roof, then uh, you can take really good videos and pictures like I did. And I was gonna use my DJI, my DJI, sorry, my DJI Osmos mobile device uh, to have smoother video footage, but uh, I was not able to get a SIM card and get everything set up, so I just use my cell phone, and my cell phones are full. Memory is full. In fact, I, I won't be surprised if this video gets cut off before I'm finished because uh, this uh, phone is one of my phones that I'm using, and the memory is almost full. I haven't got a really nice camera yet because I'm still shopping for one. Um, as far as tourism, it pretty much speaks for itself. What you see in the background is the number one uh, you know, a, a tourist site here in Paris, one of the one of the best tourist uh, attractions in the world. It is a UNESCO heritage site, and it is one of the seven wonders of the world. Okay, uh, the Arc de Triomphe, uh, which is where I was at last night, is uh, it's a very famous tourist attraction here in Paris. The Arc de Triomphe uh, it, it commemorates the, uh, the the it commemorates the originally the Napoleonic 
wars, you know, the, the age of Napoleon and the French Revolution. But later on, it was also um, used to commemorate, uh, you know, the, 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 the French soldiers that fought in World War One, World War Two, and uh, in different wars. You know, it just it's, it's just symbolic to France's military history. OK, and uh, Notre Dame Cathedral, uh, very big, very old cathedral. It sets it right there off of uh, off the river. Okay, uh, the Seine River, and uh, you have the Moulin Rouge, okay, which everyone has heard of that because of the movie, uh, and also Lido. So, uh, you know, uh, here in Paris, there's uh, there's so much to see and do. Two days just is not enough, but within two days, you can uh, you can catch the best of the best. You know, I didn't go to the top of the uh, of the Eiffel Tower because I didn't want to wait in the line. You know, and the money I didn't mind spending the money, but I just didn't want to wait in the line and burn all that time that I could be seeing other stuff, you know, but uh, you can see the best of the best in two days, and, uh, and then that's enough time to see, you know, all the good stuff, uh, but it will take you a couple of weeks to see everything, all of the good stuff, so if you really want to see everything, I would say at least a week is what you need, okay, there's a lot of budget hotels here, hostels, uh, you know, something for everyone, for every budget, um, if you want to stay in a nice place, they got plenty of them. Believe me, <laughs> there's a lot of money uh, coming in coming in here to uh, Paris, and um, and there's a lot of nice restaurants, a lot of pizza places. Uh, for, uh, pa Parisians are not rude like people say they are. Uh, they they are actually very friendly. Most of them that I've met and run into, they're very friendly, very helpful. Just like they were in New York City and Manhattan when I was there, and I was surprised because everyone used to tell me that people in New York were rude. People say that people are rude in, in Paris. I have not experienced that. I'm not saying they're not, but just the people that I have spoken to in general. I've spoken to a lot of people, and they're not they're not rude, okay? And uh, and they don't hate Americans, okay? So don't believe everything that you hear on on the media. But anyway, Paris is great. Uh, the Eiffel Tower is wonderful. Next time I come, I'm gonna do all the stuff that I didn't do this time, and I'll stay a little bit longer. Um, I'll see you in London and uh, peace out.